Burnzilla in the Art of the Iwi here. Got a new app out, just come out a couple months ago. Really liking this. iMini by Arturia. This is a model of the 1971 Mini Moog. There's a lot of great things you can do with it. I've already gotten in here, dug around a little bit, and made this patch. Let me show you what I've discovered. This is Iwi friendly, good to have because uh, <clears throat> it's got Mini Learn on it. I'm playing it right now with my. Ewe 4000S can play just as easy with the Ewe USB, just with the 4000S. I'm using my iRig MIDI. If I had the Ewe USB, I'd have to be using uh, a powered USB hub and the Apple camera connection kit. But uh, I discovered with this synth, there's a lot of great sounds uh, right up here. Oop, let's sleep on me. Right up here, we've got uh, our connect, and we just hit that. We hit MIDI right here, and we hit MIDI Learn. And uh, we can assign some things. Just tap that and uh, tap the dial. See it lights up there. Tap a control. See I've already got breath control to the cutoff frequency. Cutoff frequency. It's a kind of the magic button for your breath control. On this one, I'll show you more there. I like to automate some other things. I have my octave and hold side keys in my 4000S. I have them uh, set to send CC 18 and 19 respectively. So on this. I decided to sign uh, CC19 to the uh, play button on the arpeggiator. And then uh, on the effects, I assigned my hold key, which is CC18, to this switch on the chorus. Let's go over here to uh, performance mode, kind of see what's going on a bit with this patch. Yeah, I have my upper plate set to CC1 so I can work the mod well. What's cool is uh, without even touching this, I've got a lot of control of different sounds with this patch uh, right from my Iwi with the mod wheel and, you know, kicking in the course. XY screen here, I can do things like, you know, maybe move this down here. You can see my mod wheel operating the, the Y on that uh, second one over there. So let's go from here on this. I just want to show you, uh, I have all these settings already, but you know, there's a lot of great patches in here. I was going through the patches actually. And notice, look, G. Darcy. That is Glenn Darcy. He used to work for Akai in product development, and I know he was in on uh, the whole development and release of the Akai Iwi 4000S. So thanks, Glenn. And now he's making uh, some great patches and, and whatnot here. So let's go in. You know, we can grab any patch. Here's a, you know, like basic old uh, saw. Let's get back over here to performance mode. Now, one key, you can't just assign it to the cutoff. This one's working good already because what, what helps this is these settings, especially this contour. See how it comes in early? The more I have this contour cranked up. See, now that's not really controlling anything. So most of the time, you want to get the contour down here. It's not always best for it to be all the way down on zero, but you can kind of dial that in. And make sure these sustain levels are up. I like to put on the modulation and uh, both these keyboard controls. And I still have my controls to turn on the chorus and uh, the arpeggiator. Uh, there's a lot of fun things you can do in here to uh, start from scratch. Go over to the performance mode. I pretty much like this to be on, uh, you know, like two octaves. And uh, I like to put it on hold mode. Oh, yeah, I like four repeats. One octave there, up and down. Yeah. Let's see, I'm hitting my octave key. See how this switch right here, this little play switch going off and on? That's my octave key controlling that. And I'll show you how I made that assignment. It's up here. You hit connect. Oops. Oh, I'm glad I hit this by accident. Uh, iMini works with tabletop 
which I have on my iPad. It's really great. It's like having a little tabletop studio. And I hope pretty soon I'll probably have it uh, an update where it works with uh, audio bus. That's what I'm hoping for. But you just hit this uh, connect right here. Go over to MIDI. Tap MIDI Learn. And whatever page you're on, any of the MIDI. And see, I already have this one assigned. You know, and if I was going to sign it, i just tap it and hit my whole key and see it says MIDI control number 19. Hit done. And we're all set. You know, there's usually something under the, the mod wheel, even on your factory patches, so... Anyway, getting back over here to, uh, let's just load some, some patches. You can go anywhere in here. Go into the factory. Uh, let's check out some of the arpeggiated stuff. Let's check out this Rhythmo. And uh, all I really need to tweak out, is I already have my breath control assignments. I don't have a lot of breath control on this one because see this contour dial is up at 12 o'clock and we really need to get it down here. put it on poly mode. This isn't going to be a polyphonic patch, but the uh, main thing is right here, add this cutoff, the frequency, and uh, to the contour. Let me go to, uh, let me just show you some patches I've kind of made already. Nice thing is, is it puts them in uh, different categories here. Here's some that I've done. settings of the uh, different settings of the modulation wheel and uh, that chorus you can get some really really wild sounds let's see let's see what else we got here <laughs> I hear somewhere the mod wheel, you know, does some things really drastic. I like to put it on this performance mode because this is a good thing. You can practice. See, I can tell my breath control by watching the uh, why go over there. And then my mod wheel on the right side. Now I could dial this in a bit over here on this uh, filter emphasis. That's almost like your resonance normally on a filter. There's also some other switches in here. I got to show you. There's a little gear right here, and you hit this. And, you know, if you're playing the keyboard on here, you can set it to different scales or change your octaves, but you have some different switches here. Like, you can put it in legato mode so it doesn't re-trigger. You just need a little glide on there. A little, a little glide on. It's 
also needs to be turned a bit. There's volume there. <laughs> See what's on the performance mode here. Get over here. See it. I usually like too bad they can't have a same setting for these, but I found the one I one I kinda like. And uh, you can have it. I'll show you what it does when it's in all two octaves. Yeah, kind of. Either I either like random or up and down. Zilla and I art of the Ewe with the iMini. This is a great app to have on your iPad. Really, really sounds good. You make a breath control assignments, a couple assignments in here, and you dig in and start having some fun playing this thing. Uh, I'll see you next time. I teach you all of this and more on Skype. Check me out. The art of the Ewe. See you next time.